What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video we're going to be talking about this. You may also hear it as the function context, but we're going to refer to it as this. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So when you have a function and you invoke this function, you pass arguments. So for example, if you have a function called x, we might pass in the values 5 and 10. And these are explicit arguments. We're typing them out manually with our hands. <laughs> There's also implicit arguments where we don't type them out. Like, And one of these is the this argument. So you can kind of think of it as an invisible argument passed in right here called this, but you don't actually type it. This is just how you can imagine it with your brain. So that means inside of the function x in the function body, you can access this variable this that happens to be passed in implicitly and we can do stuff with it. So here we have this function, and what we could do is we can console log this, which is the thing that was passed in implicitly. Even though it's not defined in this parameter list, it still exists. It's a thing. Throughout the rest of the series, we're going to use the keyword this to do all kinds of various powerful things. So for example, we can use this inside of methods to refer to the object that it's being called on. We can use it inside of constructors to refer to the new object all kinds of things that we can do with this. It's not so much important that you understand all the uses of this by the end of this video. That's because we're gonna go into that in the next video. The main thing is I want you to understand where this comes from. And as you understand now, it's an implicit argument that's passed to the function. Now, one of the things I don't like about this is that if you create this function like so, and this contains some value, don't even worry about what it is right now. Well, the way that we invoke this function is going to change the value of this because the argument that's passed in is going to change based on the location in which we call this function. Again, you'll see that in the next video where we talk about the different ways to call functions. But for now, just understand that the value of this can change based on how we call it. The reason I don't super like this is because the, the behavior of the function changes based on how you call it, which makes creating predictable functions a little bit challenging. See, with these parameters here, we expect different inputs. You know, we might pass in a five, a 10, or a 20, and we, we acknowledge that, we understand that. But we also have to worry about this. So if the function uses the value of this, we have to consider all the different possible values for this. So it can be a little bit more complex than what you might expect from another programming language. Inside of another programming language, such as C-sharp or Java, this always means the same thing. It always means an object that a method is attached to. That's because inside of C-sharp and Java, it's object-oriented, everything is an object, and all functions are methods. But in JavaScript, it doesn't work that way because we can have a function as its own entity. We can invoke this function with the new keyword, and then it becomes a constructor. And on top of that, there's another capability that JavaScript has called strict mode. So you can say use strict, and then the functionality of this changes again. So there's a lot of different variations and you need to understand all of them. So it's a little bit complex. The content of this video has been very conceptual. What exactly do you need to know? What is your takeaway from this video? A couple things. One, this is passed in as an argument to the function implicitly. Two, the value of this changes based on how we call the function. And three, most of the time, this is going to refer to an object that has a method on it. So imagine this function was attached to an object. Then it might look something like this. And these names are like terrible because we just have totally random names, but we'd have dog.x. Just as an example. Well, now this is going to refer to that object. So it would literally output the object that it's attached to. That's coherent with other programming languages as well, C Sharp, Java. This is always used to refer to the objects it's 
that methods are being called on. So to show you guys this, take a look at this object here. It's an object literal called me, it has a name which is Caleb, and then we're going to attach a function to it. And let's say inside of this function, we output the value of this person's name. The way we can do that is by saying this, which refers to the object the method is attached to, dot name. And this is how a method refers to the object it's attached to. So when this function uses this in this context, it's like saying myself dot name. So yeah, a little confusing, but trust me, it's gonna be cleared up in the next video where we're gonna go over some examples. So please be sure to subscribe and check out the next video. It's gonna be awesome. So see you then and peace out.